obviously there was some urgency to try to get a vaccine out. Um, what helps me think about this actually is that they had been working on this type of vaccine for a very long time. They already knew about this spike protein that's targeted by these vaccines. And so they had already known that that would be a good target for this once they knew it also had that spike protein. So um, in some ways they already had a kind of a jump start. And really it's a consequence of, of decades of basic science research that we were able to just identify this virus within days really, sequence the thing, share that around the whole world, and then design, uh, you know, according to that sequence data, we could design vaccine targets and really start working on a vaccine within days. And that's something that's very new and really shows the power of science. Never before has there ever been an effort uh, put forward by really the world like it has in this situation where companies have devoted all of their resources, all of their top people to finding a solution to, the, to this pandemic. And the amount of money that has been poured in by different countries, including the United States, has really also been unprecedented. And so the effort, the money, the people uh, have really all come together kind of in this, this perfect storm to have a process that does take a long time um, accelerated to, to get to this point. That being said, each of these vaccines has been built on platforms that have already been in existence. And so the mRNA platforms were originally put together for the SARS-CoV-1 vaccine back in 2003. So it's been around really for 17 years. So this is a, a vaccine that, that's 17 years in the making, even though we're just hearing about it now. Those viruses naturally died out and these vaccines ended up not being necessary. The technology, the know-how, and the people that have been working on these, they've really been doing it all along for quite some time. It just it so happened that we needed to find solutions. This was a solution that was available, technology available to try, and thus we're here at this point. We also had the advantage of being exposed to SARS-CoV-1 and knowing that that spike protein was going to be the most uh, important protein to go after because of its role in attaching the virus to cells and creating an entryway for the virus in, into the cells. We had all these little bits of, of information. It was putting it together and it, the story was able to come together relatively quickly.